What's up everybody, D'Angelo here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I just wanted to make this video for you guys on the importance of having multiple streams of income. So let's just dive right into this. So in the last two days here, I've touched over $5,000, you know. I've been saying touch lately, it sounds so dirty. So I just touch, I've been touching money. <laughs> Basically, I've received $5,000 in payments in the last two days here. And I just wanted to go over again the importance of having multiple streams of income. But as you guys can see right here, um, on the 20th, I sold $2,000 worth of Bitcoin, and I'll get into why I did that and stuff, because, you know, you get the people like, oh, man, you never should have sold, and this, and I'll, I'll jump into that in a little bit. Again, this is, like, not my whole portfolio or anything along those lines, and I'm not super big into it. I'll touch base on that in a little bit. Anyway, I sold 2000 after um, Coinbase takes their fee. I got 1970 bucks. So as you guys can see, that payment got received in my account on the 22nd. Then from there, I got a payment from Google today for $1,596. And then I got um, the rental payment coming today, so that's another $750. Then yesterday, I got a payment, well, two payments from Macari, one for $680 and another one for $170. And like I said, just got a bunch of stuff going on, guys. So as you guys see right there alone, it's over $5,000 in payments. And that doesn't include CPA marketing, Amazon FBA, the cash app method. So if you guys don't do this stuff that I've been talking about, talking about in the video, it's like, I don't know what to tell you. Like literally every single thing that I do is documented. The YouTube stuff is documented, you know. The one thing that I say that I don't really talk about that much is like the crypto stuff that I do. And that's mainly because... In the crypto space, it's hella risky. Like, it's just not the field that I normally do on this channel. Like, that's just kind of how it is. Like, I mean, like, look at Bitsino, right? That pretty much died because everybody was so fucking lazy. Like, no one wanted to promote, <laughs> but everybody wanted to get paid. Like, it was that that shit could have been amazing. But anyway, um, let's just jump into the topic at hand here, right? So having multiple streams of income and how I think you should try to make more money. So if you don't have a lot of money, what I would recommend doing is Amazon FBA, right? Because Amazon FBA is stupid easy. Like it, like coming from a strictly regular person, like that's the point of view I'm coming from, from a regular typical person, hands down, the easiest way to make money is Amazon FBA because you don't have to talk to anybody. You don't have to email anybody. You don't have to, you know, beg people to join a program like with MLMs. You don't have to recruit people. You don't have to do any of that. The only thing you need to do is know how to use a cell phone and put products inside of a box. If you can do that, you can literally make thousands upon thousands of dollars every single month. If you somehow fuck up Amazon FBA, in my opinion, I don't know what you should do. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I mean, again, this is the easiest thing ever. You got all your data up front. So it's not like CPA marketing where you have to spend thousands of dollars on a campaign to get data. Your data is there. You know how many other people are selling that product. You know how long it's going to take to sell a product. You know how much profit you're going to get. You know how much it costs. You know everything right then and there. There are no excuses at all to why you should fail in Amazon FBA. That's just my opinion on it. <laughs> I know you got those people out there that like rush to the bottom and all that stuff, but you just got to wait those people out. But anyway, number one on the list, hands down. It's Amazon FBA because, again, it is stupid easy. You go to the store, you scan a product, you see that product is going to make you money, you put that product um, in your cart, take it home, put it in a box, put a label on that box, send it to, um, take it to UPS, and that's it. They cut you a check every two weeks. You never got to worry about anything else. Next on the list is going to be um, uh, reselling in general. So, again, you can do this with Amazon as well. Again, you just go to the store, buy stuff. But instead of sending it to Amazon, you can sell on Macari, let go, offer up your own e-commerce store, wherever you want it, right? So that's pretty much it for that one. You go to Facebook Marketplace or wherever, buy products up, and then again, literally turn around and just resell them. So what you can also do is um, 
I call it real world drop shipping. So what I do a lot is I'll go over to the Facebook marketplace and I'll see a product that's been sitting for a while and you know just just you know just it's I don't know if it's gonna sell or not. So I'll take all the images from that Facebook market post um and put it over on Macari or wherever I am gonna sell it at that day, and then I'll wait until I get a sale. All right, now the only downside about this is that let's say you get a sale the next day and then the person sold it the previous day. Now you got to cancel that order and obviously that can get your account in some trouble if you do that a bunch of times. So if that happens a lot, then you know you can get your account shut down because obviously Macari and them, you know, wants you to um you know fulfill your promise and sell people their products or whatever. So yeah, and if you in um if it's on your own website, you're not gonna get any trouble, but then that customer isn't going to want to order from you again because I mean you already canceled on them before. So yeah, you guys get the point there. That is one of the drawbacks to doing this particular method right here. Now, if you go and buy the product up and then you just sit and hold on it, obviously there is no problem. But that's a good way to make some money as well because then all you got to do is wait for a sale. Then you just go uh, pick it up, mail it out, and then you get your paid whenever. It depends on which one you're doing. If you're doing your own e-commerce stores, most likely you're going to get paid instantly. If you're using something like PayPal, don't recommend it. But if that's the route you choose to go, or you would get paid the next day if you're using something like Stripe or your own merchant, which I, again, recommend doing your own merchant because all of these, like, technically, obviously, they're real merchants, but, like, they're not merchants that fight for you. Like, if someone comes and be like, hey, this guy, uh, like, let's say, for example, someone buys a Team D'Angelo course, right? And then they want to wait, like, a month down the line and they'd be like, oh, okay, I've gone through everything in the course and all this stuff. Um, I'm just going to try to get my money back. And they say, I don't know where this charge came from. I can actually pull up records like, hey, this is this person's email. This is their IP address. This is their address right here to their house. This is this, this is that, that and that and that and that and list all everything. And I'm like, okay, if you didn't make this purchase, odds are you would have been, you know, did a cancellation and all of this information right here wouldn't match your credit card and all this stuff or whatever. So 99% of the time you'll win um, those particular cases. There are going to be some that you lose. I mean, that's just the way that it goes. You will meet those fuckface scammers out there. And that's why I always recommend that you get paid in a way where you don't have to worry about that, like Bitcoin, um, Cash App, you know, stuff like that. But anyway, let's jump into the next ones at hand and that is going to be you guys already know my all-time favorite cpa marketing now cpa marketing is amazing because you don't have to worry about you know getting sales getting sales is hard like it really is when you're a beginner getting sales is hard you either have to spend money to um get people to go to your website and if you don't have any sales odds are you don't have any money you know, you're just starting out or you don't have a big budget or whatever, but basically it's hard <laughs> to get sales and stuff. Now with CPA marketing, you don't have to worry about any of that. You can go run what's called a CPL, which is cost per lead. So every time somebody puts in their email, you know, or they fill out a form or they buy a trial size bottle or, you know, uh, they download an app or whatever, right? You'll get paid for them doing that. So let's say you get paid a dollar for them putting in their email, if they buy a trial size bottle, let's say they spend four dollars ninety five cent, and you'll get seventy dollars for that. Yeah, it really is that that high. Like somebody spends seventy five dollars, and you get seventy. <laughs> Crazy, but that's literally how it goes. But um, yeah. Then let's say they got to fill out a form. If it's a loan form, it could be like. I mean, not a loan. Yeah, loan form. It could be um, anywhere from like five bucks up to like thirty, fifty dollars, just for them filling out the form. Again, they do not have to spend any money at all. They just have to fill out the form, and you get paid. So, you guys get the point. This is one of the most easiest ways to make money as well. Now, the only downside with this is that there's kind of a learning curve. You know because you actually have to learn how to build landing pages. You have to learn how to uh, get into a CPA network. You have to learn how to um, um, you know, run correctly or your account will get shut down. You have to learn how to tell if you're getting bad leads or good leads. So again, your account doesn't get shut down. So like, there's a, a learning curve into it. But once you got it down packed, easy, six figures a year, just like that, right? So yeah, that's like the main three right there. Um, and then, of course, you got your affiliate marketing stuff. And that really just depends on where you're going. Because, I mean, you can 
it's just like how CPA marketing is, in my opinion, except for, let's just say, for example, with ClickBank, instead of working with, you know, getting leads and stuff like that, you're mainly working on just getting sales. And I don't recommend any type of um, um, MLMs or or anything where you have to recruit people to make money. That's just my opinion. You guys know my whole thing here, like every video on this channel down there is about making money in ways that you do not have to recruit people because I hate recruiting people. Hate recruiting people. I hate all those type of businesses. I mean, I tried them way back in the day. It's just it's not for me. Like, I don't wanna be in a business where I'm the only person eating. Like, I'll be up here eating, right? And then you'll have everybody that's underneath me starving. All right. It's kind of like how those Forex people be. They'll be all over Instagram and all over um, Facebook and their super fancy cars and shit, you know, and they talk about how they're making a million dollars a month. And literally every single person on their team is broke as fuck and none of them know how to trade. Like, how is that something to brag about? <laughs> Like, I've had students go out and make more money with my campaign than shit even I did. So, anyway, you guys are getting the point of, how, like, again, why you should have multiple streams of income. And then my thing when it came to um, selling this uh, BTC here. Now, keep in mind, again, I am not super big into the crypto space. Like, I don't even have six figures in uh, crypto stuff no more. Like... I'm just like your regular average person, your average Joe when it comes to doing crypto stuff. I don't trade or anything along those lines. Now, my thing is, I know people. That's kind of what you, you just know people once you, you're, you're a marketer for so long. Bitcoin went to $57,000. That was a new high. And from what I've seen, you know, and I can read patterns, I can read data. Like, I mean, again, that's kind of what happens when you, especially if you're a CPA marketer, you learn how to read data real quick or you're going to lose or lose a lot of money. But anyway, 57000 all right, that's where it had hit. Now, I could have went higher than that. That's just where I sold that. 57000 all right? The price I checked it a few minutes ago is at 47000 Now, I knew it was going to go down. Like, I don't know if it's going to be at what price tomorrow. Like, now, when it goes to, now, when it's at 47 right now, I have no idea if it's going to go back to 57. I have no idea if it's going to go to 50. I don't know any of that. So, all this in between here, completely great. I don't know shit. I, I ain't even afraid to admit, I don't know shit when it comes to this right here. But when it hits a new high, though, I know there's going to be a major pullback because people are going to take profits. So my thing is, why hold the bag if you know it's going to go down? Like, and again, I didn't sell all of my, my stuff here. I literally just took 2000 for profit. Like, that was it. Like, I didn't, like, empty the entire counter or nothing like that. But why not? I mean, if you know the price is going to drop down, why hold the bag on the way down when you can buy, when you can sell at 57 and then buy back in at 47 And then when it rises back up, you just keep doing that over and over. That's just like my thing on it. Now, again, I'm not playing with, you know, a hundred thousand or more. I'm not playing with anything like that. Now, if you're, you know, paying, like, I mean, you got people out here, like the let me just say, the most money I've ever made in the crypto space is like 80K in a month. There are people that have that. And like, that's like, they're going up and down, you know, um, average and like seconds. <laughs> so trust me, I know your boy is not a big fish in this field at all. All right. But that's just my whole little take on it and why I do what I do and why I sold that $2,000 there. You know, right? And again, with $2,000, a lot of people don't realize the value of money these days. Like $2,000 in Amazon FBA, that could be like 10 if you buy the right products. And all you have to do is the product. The main thing when it comes to CPA, I mean, uh, Amazon is just getting products. That's the hardest part. Like if you go to Goodwills, you know, you can spend $2,000. Like actually spending on good quality products, you're gonna make a shit ton of money. That's just that's guaranteed, hundred percent. And then the products are so dirt cheap that even if you get scammed by your customer, it doesn't fucking matter because you spent two dollars for it. <laughs> and then you're getting money back every month if you're using one of the uh, a card that gives you money back on every purchase. Or even if you aren't using that, you can always do the um, um their little gift card thing where they give you like five percent back on ev on everything. So it's like. 
what is it, a hundred every hundred bucks you spend, you get five dollars back. And then on top of that, you get fifty percent off um products and then you get um you, their little holidays and stuff. Like so the Goodwill is a freaking gold mine. I don't know why so many people sleep on the Goodwill. But and then right now too, a lot of people scared to go outside, so you're gonna have way less competition. Again, like I say, guys, right now, gold mine when it comes to doing CPA marketing. I mean, uh, Amazon FBA, but even CPA marketing as well. People scared to spend five fucking dollars on a Craigslist campaign. Like that always pisses me off because you have people go out here and spend twenty dollars or ten dollars or however much a pack of cigarettes costs these days. That's literally gonna fucking kill them. Like you are literally taking poison into your body, alcohol, poison into your body. You can party, smoke, drink, go out and spend hundreds of dollars on a car note every single month and be paying somebody else's mortgage payment. But you can't spend five fucking dollars to help your own life get better. That always just pisses me off. But anyway, your boy is done. I know this was a super long video here, but for those who actually want to make some money and stuff, I'm sure you made it to the end.